Harassment and discrimination. Why do we go through training every year? It's required on federal jobs. DOT requires annual EEO training. It's our company policy. The company is legally responsible for ensuring that our employees understand what harassment is, that it is prohibited, and how to report it. Every employee deserves the right to work in an environment free of harassment and discrimination. Let's go through some scenarios. Question one, you're on your lunch break at a job site. Someone brings in a magazine and is showing everyone the topless pictures of a model that are in the magazine. There are no female employees within sight range of the magazine. Can this still be harassment? And you have two choices, yes or no. The answer is yes. The courts have recognized that males can be harassed by other males and females can be harassed by other females. Question two. All of the employees at a plant that you manage, except one, are male. The female employee comes to you and tells you that she's upset because a couple of the men at the plant have been teasing her about the man she is dating. You don't think that the other employees meant any harm by what they said. What should you do? And you have three options. The correct answer is to report it to human resources. They will make a decision about whether it was actually harassment. Question three, you get a raunchy picture forwarded to your cell phone. You think it's funny, so you send it to three other supervisors. They send it to three more people each, some of whom are employees that work for them. At some point, this picture has gone around half the crews and then someone makes a complaint. Are you in violation of company policy? The answer is yes, because you sent the picture. Question four, you work on an asphalt crew. Four members of the crew are Hispanic, as is the foreperson. The rest of the crew members are either Caucasian or African American. You have noticed that the foreperson allows the Hispanic members of the crew to have the first choice of work assignments every time you go out on the job. Is that discrimination? The answer is yes. It is discrimination to give one group preferential treatment based solely on their ethnicity or race. Question five. Same situation, but this time the four person lets the first four employees who arrived at work get the first choice of work assignments. Oftentimes, all four of these slots are filled by Hispanic workers. Is that discrimination? No, because the four person is given a reward for being at work on time. It has nothing to do with the race or any other characteristic. What is harassment? Harassment is any unwelcome conduct, whether verbal or physical, that is based upon a person's sex, color, race, religion, national origin, pregnancy, age, disability, veteran status, or other protected status. Harassment is another form of discrimination. The procedure for filing a complaint of discrimination or harassment. Any employee who believes he or she has been the subject of sexual harassment or any other form of discrimination should report the alleged act immediately to the local company EEO officer, which is Angie Reynolds, your HR manager. All complaints will be handled in a timely and confidential manner. You also have Kelly Samples, an EEO officer out of Dunbar, West Virginia on the regional level. There is the Ethics and Compliance Hotline at 1-800-220-7505. Retaliation is a serious violation of the company's policy and anyone who feels they have been subjected and or witnessed any acts of retaliation must immediately report such conduct. I wanna give a quick congratulations to Tanya Boyd on completing her apprenticeship and becoming a certified office manager slash HR generalist. Fantastic job. Good luck in the future. Thank you everyone for attending this virtual training as we are in the middle of the global pandemic of COVID-19. We appreciate your time and your attention to this training and we look forward to a productive year in 2021. Please work safe out there, guys.